Hey everyone, welcome to another video, Gem Editor. Uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial showing uh, triggers and zones. So this is a feature that I use fairly often in scripting. Uh, it's pretty easy to learn, and I think it's yeah, it's a good effect to have. I think when you're making your own missions or doing your own thing, whatever. So yeah, I'll show you how I'll show you guys how to do it. So first of all, what you need to do is set up your scenario. So today it's just IDF will be walking through this uh, desert type of thing, and over here the enemy, which is Somalian pirates, will ambush them. So what's going to happen is that when my players get to a certain zone, which I'll create, they will trigger the ambush from over here, if that makes sense. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So first thing I need to do is to make uh, two tags. So I'll tag my guys first and the pirates. You need to place a hidden tag as well on, for example, when I press start, the group or the units or the tank or whatever it's, it, whatever it's going to be that has a hidden tag on it won't be on the map, it'll disappear. And for it to be on the map, it needs to get triggered by something, whether it's an event or in this case a zone. So second of all, what I'll do is I'll create a zone. I'll do that by going to zone. Uh, you can do a poly or a circle, I'll do a poly today, and give it a new name, I'm just going to call it ambush. And this will come up here. Uh, place it wherever you want, I'm just going to place it here. And you can manip uh, manipulate the size to whatever you want it to be. Let's make it that size for now. Now I'll make a waypoint set for the pirates as well. So when they appear in the map, they'll be heading over to the zone that uh, my IDF guys just uh, stepped on. So I'll do that, making a waypoint. Waypoints are very important to um, to know how to do if you're going to make your own mission. Um, we'll give it an assault as well, an assault state, so they check charge them. Alright. So, now what I'm going to do is make a trigger. So, what I, how I do that, I go down to triggers, um, and I open it up and give it a new name. Let's say, let's call it trigger. Now, the trigger will be a near condition because it's a, my IDF guys are nearing that, that zone that I created, the ambush zone, so I'll make a near condition. So go to conditions, third down is near, open up the box where it says units, expand that, select the tag, in my case it's IDF, that'll be the guys that hit this, the zone. Near to, expand that, where it says zone, open it, and that's the zone I tagged earlier on, ambush, press OK, and then press OK again. Now, to trigger this, to trigger the near condition, go back to your ambushy guys over here, the pirates. And like I said, the waypoint's already made. Go to condition, go down and hit trigger. It's about halfway down. Double click that. Where it says name, expand the box. And the trigger. That's what you want. That's that, um, that near condition I created just earlier on. So what will happen is when my IDF guys hit this zone up here, it will trigger these guys to appear, follow the waypoint, and attack them. So yeah, that's it. I'll uh, give it a shot, make sure it works. So as you can tell, these guys uh, vanished. So now these guys are just on a patrol.
Yeah, here they come. So yeah, that's that's it. That's how you do it. It can be uh, manipulated many many different ways. It doesn't have to be troops. You can make tanks. Um, it doesn't have to be an ambush situation. It can be multiple different uh, scenarios you can set up. This is just an example. I I, I probably use about ten to fifteen uh, zones and triggers for more complex maps that I script. But it's a good little skill to have, I think. So yeah. Cool, alright. Um, until next time, I'll see you guys later.